Hello everyone. Today's video I thought I would uh, bring out a Mike's Train House uh, ES44 AC. Uh, it's a big uh, General Electric, uh, close to being the latest gen version of their diesel locomotive. Um, it's, uh, as again, like I said, Mike's Train House O scale, scale that has the uh, attached pilots, the scale pilots on front and rear and it's a 3-2-3 system which runs on either 3 rail or 2 rail. It has uh, Proto 3 sounds I believe on it, it has smoke, lights, um, all the flashing ditch lights and everything else. Beautiful locomotive, very powerful. Uh, it, uh, pick up a whole bunch of cars and take off with them but uh, I do like it um, like I said uh, and I did a CSX video on a AC44 um, locomotive for CSX um, this one is a little different because it's a newer version of the GE engine uh, I think it's got more uh, highly detailed uh, on the real locomotive uh, diagnostics and electronics and everything else uh, and uh, fuel efficiency and everything but I just really did like the uh, CSX and I really like this Canadian Pacific engine um, I watch them on uh, YouTube live up there in Canada um, uh, at one of the uh, live train cams but uh, I do enjoy running this one it's smoke everything else it's a real nice locomotive I thought I'd bring it out and show it to you all tonight. Let you take a look at it. Uh, it's got all the separate piece grills for the uh, uh, side of the locomotive, the body and stuff, and it has all the handrails. And uh, it has uh, all the opening door, uh, ditch lights, everything else. Let's see if I can. Get a little bit in on here. These are such beautiful engines. And Mike's Train House has done a really nice job on these. Uh, they've gone out of business. He hasn't gone out of business. He retired and closed. But there's some people there who still do, I think, parts and special orderings and, and getting things in for people and hopefully uh, they'll start bringing engines back in from overseas to uh, sell to us. I'd hate to think that locomotives of this quality are gone but I'll have to keep an eye out just to see what they're going to do in the future. But uh, uh, I don't know for you all who have them uh, you know, like I was saying in other videos that I used to do O scale uh, locomotives and most of the time you would either get one from one of the big manufacturers like Precision or Key and they would cost you over $2,000 or you would have to get some kind of a old kit, brass kit from Central Locomotive Works or one of the other companies and try to put, you know, a SD or a GP together. But when Mike's... Uh, started competing with Lionel, Mike went to a, Mike's train house went to a scale version locomotive where they actually scaled a quarter of an inch equal a foot and he started putting more and more detail, more and more separate detail and side grills and everything else, opening doors, lights, sound, and it really uh, was a step above what I thought Lionel was at the time, but since then Lionel has really stepped up their game and I guess they're the sole player now but Lionel has put out some fantastic pieces but I can't afford Lionel <laughs> and uh, Mike's train house uh, I think this engine brand new was in the 449 range I bought it used so uh, but uh, it's one way of saving uh, a few bucks and putting it towards maybe another engine but I just was hoping you all might like this one. Thought I'd bring it out for you tonight, or today, and let you take a look at it. 
If you would, I'd appreciate it if you'd hit the like button and subscribe. It helps me out a lot and lets YouTube know that uh, somebody is enjoying these videos. And um, hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching. You all have a good evening. Be safe. Talk to you all later. Bye.